Hello again, uh, here we are to continue uh, discussing creating the JavaScript slideshow. And in our last video, we added some styles that, you know, um, created a row of images. You don't see the row because some of them are off to the side here. And the styles that we used to hide them um, made our outer box overflow hidden, which kind of makes it like a window, right? And um, and that's a good starting point. So now we just got to talk about like how we're going to make the slides, you know, slide across here, right? So um, let's uh, let's talk about that. Uh, I'm going to go into my code here, and here's the the code that I've used, right? And what we're going to use to make the slides move, essentially, this div right here is what we're going to move. So we're going to move this guy. And since it's the parent of these images right here, the images will move with it, right? So when the parent moves, it takes all these guys with them. And what we've done is we've arranged these images in a horizontal row, right? So they'll all be like a long strip, a wide strip of images that can slide left and right, okay? So in order to move this guy, we're going to give um, the slides inner, which is, which is this guy, right? Slides inner. We're going to give this a position property of absolute, okay? And then the slideshow, who is the parent, right? We're going to give that a, you can see it says class slideshow here, right? We're going to give this a position property of relative, okay? And by doing this, if I refresh here, like we won't see any changes, right? But it will give us the ability to take slides inner and um, and set its left, top, right, or bottom property. So if I set the left property and I make it like 100 pixels like this, um, it will move the image 100 pixels from the, um, from the, it'll reposition it so its left edge is 100 pixels distant from its relative ancestor, okay? So in other words, um, if I look here, you can see that slideshow is position relative and slideshow is the, the parent, right? When this guy is position absolute, uh, if we set his left, top, right, or bottom edge, then the computer looks up for a relative parent and it sees this guy and then it says okay well that's my context or that's like my you know origin or my you know reference for where i'm going to position something and when you set the uh, left property to 100 it says hey let's put 100 pixels of space between um your left edge that's the thing you're moving that has the property and the left edge of the relative positioned parent. If this wasn't a uh, position relative, then it would work its way all the way up to the body tag and it would be referenced to the body tag. So this might actually look the same or work the same um, without relative in some cases, but in other cases you'd have a problem depending on where this was on the page. So it's really good for us to give the relative to this parent element because it'll always move it consistently, right? Okay, so this is actually sliding, but it's actually not going the right direction. So let's fix that, right? So if I make it move, let's say 200 pixels, but I make the number negative, right? Then instead of sliding to the right, you know, putting a positive 100 pixels, it'll slide to the left 200 pixels this way. And if I refresh it, um, oops, let me save that file and then refresh it here, you can see now that the first slide with the B here has slid 200 pixels off this edge, and then this other slide is starting to come into view. So now if we can just animate this left property, right, then we can create our, make our slideshow work. And actually, there's another property that we can use too, and I'm going to use that one here. Um, let's give that one an exam, uh, a test, right? So I'm going to use transform, and then there's a property called translate. And translate is kind of like moving the left, top, right, and bottom, but it, it lets you just move something on the X and Y. So if I put translate here and you put in two numbers, like if I say zero and zero, you can see we're back at the beginning, 
but if I make the first number, let's say a negative 300 pixels, right? Then when I refresh here, you can see that my, my B has moved 300 pixels off to the, uh, off this direction, right? If I did, you know, positive, you know, uh, 400 pixels, then we would see it move the other direction. So here's 400, right? Okay. So we're actually going to use this transform and translate. And, and I'll talk a little more about it, about why later, but essentially this is going to be a little more efficient for us to animate. And actually, um, we're not even going to use translate. We're going to use translate 3D. Okay. So this takes three properties, X, Y, and uh, Z, and it does the same thing. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to use this and you can see this looks the same or if I wanted to go negative 400, right? Actually, if I want to see that whole next slide, we'd go negative 1200 pixels, right? Remember the, the width of the slides is 1200. Oops, wait, what did I do there? Um, oh, I got to do a negative 1200, right? So, uh, oh, there we go. So now we see the, the, the ladybug, right? So uh, why are we going to use uh, Translate 3D? Well, uh, translate 3D, anytime you use a 3D transform, and there's a few of these, right? So there's Translate 3D, Rotate 3D, and, and a couple others. Um, when you use the 3D transforms, the, um, the computer offloads the graphics processing to the graphics coprocessor. So these are actually more efficient, even if you're not using the third dimension, right? So these are like much more efficient. We can experiment with this later and I'll show you that the slideshow, it's like actually perceptibly smoother if we use the Translate 3D, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna move our slides this way. I'm gonna change this back to zero here so that our slides um, are, you know, in their default position. So we have the first slide here, right? Okay, and then that's, um, that's how the, the slideshow is gonna work. Essentially, we're gonna animate this property here and then it's going to change and and move right okay so um so anyway thanks for watching and um we'll continue this in the next video